In today's video, we're going to be looking at the Xbox Series S. I have the white one with the 500 gigabyte SSD. And then on top, I have the one with the one terabyte SSD. Now inside the boxes, you will be getting the same thing. The only difference between the two, with the white one, you will be receiving the white Series S controller. And with the black one, you will be receiving the black one. That will be the only difference uh, with the items coming inside the box. Now let's talk about the uh, physical looks of both of these Xboxes. As you can probably tell, they are the same Xboxes, the front, the top, the size, the back is all the same. Now, let me show you that back next. And as you guys can tell, the back is same as well. So we have internet port, two USB type A, uh, super speed, HDMI out, storage expansion, power plug. Same on the white one as well. So when it comes to the physical looks, when it comes to what comes inside the box, it's all the same thing. Now you're probably wondering what is the difference. So the only difference between the two is the storage. The black one comes with the one terabyte. Now out of the box, you will be getting 800 gigabytes. When it comes to the white one, it is 500 gigabytes, but out of the box, you will be getting 364 gigabytes. So the differences between the two is 440 gigabytes of storage. Does make a pretty big difference. I did end up using the Series S since they released. And after about six, seven months, I did end up running out of space. Uh, so for example, Call of Duty Warzone by itself, I believe it's around 100 to 120 gigabytes. So if you have GTA 5, that one again is over 100 gigabytes. So those two games alone will take the half the storage of of the series as 500 gigabytes so that's something to keep in mind and i know some of you are thinking if i need space i'm just going to upgrade the storage now on the xbox it's really hard to upgrade the storage actually it's not that hard all you need to get is the uh, microsoft storage expansion which plugs in here but it's definitely not budget friendly and you're better off getting the black uh, one terabyte edition but if you don't plan on playing a lot of games if you want to stick with a couple multiplayer games now on this white one uh, usually what i ended up doing is i usually ended up playing the apex legends and the rocket link so for those two games you do have plenty of space left now for the people who never had Xbox, this is how the menu looks. And this will look the same and perform the same on the Xbox Series S, the white one, Xbox Series S, the black one, or the Xbox Series X. All the updates are the same on all three consoles. So whenever the new updates, even if they change the home screen, you will be receiving the same look on all three consoles. So on top you have um, let me just get my controller. So on top, you have My Games and Apps. Then you have Store, Game Pass, Search, Settings. And then here you have all the recent games. As you guys can probably tell, this is from the Xbox Series X. Uh, but it does have all the same stuff. You have the Game Pass, you have Recently Added. And you can also end up customizing the rest of this front page. Now, a few things that I would recommend you if you do end up getting the Xbox Series S. I would definitely recommend getting the battery pack. What I have here on the white one is the battery pack. Uh, the controller uses two AA batteries. It doesn't come with the rechargeable batteries. So you will ha either have to get two AA rechargeable batteries or you can end up getting the battery pack or you can just end up sticking with just replacing two AA batteries. Next thing I will recommend you is getting the headset. You guys have no idea how many times I will play a multiplayer game, end up in a team, and you know some members don't end up having the headset. And it's really hard to play some of the games, like for example, shooters and stuff like that without somebody who doesn't have a headset. So definitely that's one of the things you should end up getting. Now, the controller does support 3.5 millimeter headset jack, so you can end up getting some really budget-friendly headsets. And the final thing, if you do end up getting the Xbox, I would recommend is getting the Game Pass. Uh, there's so many new games coming soon. So for example, they just end, ended up adding the control uh, for some reason, three versions, I'm not sure why. NBA 2K24, uh, then you have, let's see what else they added, Dead Island 2, Resident Evil Remake, you have Train, SimWorld, 
Resident Evil 2 Remake. And best of all, soon by the end of this month, they will be adding Diablo 4. Now, another thing that I do love about the Xbox Game Pass, you can actually end up playing the cloud game. So, for example, right here I have the Forza Horizon 5. Now, if I don't want to download the game, if I just want to try the game, I can just end up playing it on the cloud. Now, you can use this cloud on the iPad, uh, Windows computer, any tablet. It works with a lot of different devices. Now, let me show you how that works real fast uh, because I feel like that's the best feature. Sometimes I will see a game and it will be a pretty huge download, 50, 60, 70 gigabytes. This way, you can end up trying the game, see how you like the graphics, see how you like the actual gameplay. Then if you like it, you can end up downloading the game. So as I was talking, it only took maybe 90 seconds or something like that. And just like that, the game loaded. Let's do a quick little match. Now look how gorgeous the graphics are. And you gotta keep in mind, this is over cloud gaming. So it definitely is not 4K resolution. I believe it's either 720p or the 1080p. But the graphics look really, really amazing. Let me just try to skip. I guess I can't skip. I'll skip it in the video since I can't skip it live. All right, so that was a little bit of the gameplay. It's placed super smooth, no lag whatsoever. Now to sum it up, whichever console you end up getting, it will be the right choice. The only thing you have to think about is how much storage you will need and what kind of games you're gonna end up playing. Uh, if you already have set games in mind, make sure you end up uh, going online, check how much storage those games have, and then you can make the right choice. 
Personally, I definitely recommend going with the one terabyte edition. If you're a big gamer like me and likes to try different games, you will definitely appreciate that extra 500 gigabytes of storage. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day.